Our next laureate for the category of life sciences is the chief scientist at the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology in Hyderabad, where she received her PhD and then did a postdoctoral fellowship at the Fred Hutchison Cancer Research Center in Seattle. Her bold research work spans biochemistry and genetics. To announce the Infosys Prize in Life Sciences, I am very pleased to introduce the jury chair for this category, Professor Mruganka Sur. Dr. Sur is the Newton Professor of Neuroscience and the director of the Simon Center for the Social Brain and an investigator at the Pickover Institute of Learning and Memory at MIT. He received the Hans Lucas Tuber Scholar Award in Brain Sciences in 1997, the Sherman Fairchild Chair in 1998, and the Newton Chair in 2008. He's an alumnus of IIT Kanpur and the Vanderbilt University in Nashville. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Ruganka Sur. Um, the Infosys Prize for Life Sciences is awarded to Manjula Reddy for her groundbreaking <laughs> of the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, Hyderabad, for her groundbreaking discoveries concerning the structure of cell walls in bacteria. Through elegant genetic and biochemical analyses, Dr. Reddy and her colleagues have revealed critical steps of cell wall growth that are fundamental for understanding bacterial biology and have important implications for developing new classes of antibiotics to fight drug-resistant bacteria. It is not an easy matter to make progress in a field that is 100 years old. For 100 years, we have known about bacteria and the fact that bacteria mutate, they grow, they proliferate, and for a considerable period of time, we have known that that is the cause of certain classes of infections and disease. But the jury for life sciences, consisting of Paola Arlotta, Caroline Dean, Eric Lander, John Kurian, and KJ Patel, was unanimous in its choice of Dr. Reddy for the extraordinarily bold and creative experiments that she performed to examine new ways of looking at how bacteria divide and proliferate. All existing antibiotics target the late, sometimes the last stages of bacterial proliferation. Dr. Reddy had the astonishing insight to study the very earliest stages of how bacterial cell walls make space for new materials to be inserted via the action of spacemaker enzymes. And these very early processes of cell wall growth, which she examined using combination of genetic and biochemical analyses, and if I may say so, in this era of data-driven, unbiased approaches using extraordinary insight, hypothesis-driven approaches, she was able to show the fundamental biology of how bacteria begin to proliferate by creating space in their cell walls. And this fundamental biology opens up novel targets for developing new antibiotics that were not imagined earlier because we did not know the basic biology earlier. So this, to our jury, represents a beautiful example of how basic science, done for curiosity perhaps, and trying to understand a fundamental process of life, nonetheless, will provide new targets, we hope soon, that will lead to new classes of antibiotics 
as a protection against antibio against the current antibiotic resistant bacteria. Professor Reddy. Thank you, Professor Sewer. Fascinating work uh, working on the bacterial cell walls. And here is Dr. Manjula Reddy reflecting on her work and mission. My work involves working with bacterial cell walls. How do they grow and divide to make daughter cells is what my research interest is. I am Manjula Reddy and I am a bacterial geneticist. My parents wanted me to go into medical field. However, during my college days, I entered the chemistry lab and that's where my calling came. What drives me each day is the curiosity to examine my experimental results. First thing I do each day is to go straight to my incubator, look at my bacterial plates, and then also to interact with my students about their results. For me, exploring the unknown is important because that is the key to future development and that is how I have discovered how bacterial cell walls grow and divide. Research is something which is continuous and doesn't come at, at a single point. Please join me in welcoming on stage Professor Manjula Reddy. I request Mr. Nanda Nilekani, co-founder of Infosys and the trustee, and Professor Sur to join us for the prize presentation. And may I request Professor Amartya Sen to present the Infosys Prize in Life Sciences to Dr. Manjula Reddy. Thank you, Professor Sen. Thank you, Professor Sur. Thank you, Mr. Nelikani. Dr. Reddy, a few words, please. Thank you very much for this honor. It's privileged, I'm privileged to be here and receive this prestigious award. I'm grateful to the Infosys Science Foundation and to the jury members for the award. This recognition gives me impetus to do more meaningful work in future. And I'm fortunate to have parents, spouse, and my children who understood my passion for science and supported me all through the years. And I have always had inspiring mentors and supportive colleagues, and some of whom are here in the audience, and I'm thankful to them. This award is a recognition of the work of my, everyone in my lab at CCMB, and the award belongs to them as much as to me. And it was a pleasant surprise to learn that my award gave hope and inspiration to many young women in science and outside science to pursue their dreams. to pursue their dreams while balancing the societal and family expectations of them. So this is an important milestone in my life and I'm thankful to all of you to be part of it. Thank you once again. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Manjula Reddy, thank you. And thank you for getting to those bacterial cells even before they split, breaking down the walls quite literally, if I may add. 